Hi, welcome to Sunil Maths Tutorial, Functional Analysis, Class Number 5. In this video, we learn a theorem. Let us see the statement. Capital MBA, closed linear subspace of a normed linear space capital N. The norm of the coset X plus M in the quotient space N by M is defined by norm X plus M is equals to infimum of norm X plus M where M belongs to capital M. Then n by m is a normal linear space. Further, if n is a Banach space, then so n by m. It means n by m is also a Banach space. Now we observe that we prove this theorem in three parts. In the first part, introduction, we give introduction to the statement and understand the statement elaboratedly. And then in the second step, we prove that n by m is a normal linear space. And then in the third step, we prove that n by m is a Banach space. So, to prove the theorem, we use these three steps. So, right, first one, introduction. <coughs> By data, capital N is a normal linear space and capital M be a closed linear subspace of capital N. N is a normal linear space and it is, observe that, M is the closed subspace of capital N. Now, the quotient space N by M is defined, this, defined as the set of all cosets, the set of all left to cosets. So, left cosets means 0 plus m, x plus m, y plus m and so on, where the elements 0, x, y and so on, they are belongs to capital N. They are belongs to capital N. And observe that capital M is equals to 0 plus m is the additive identity in the quotient space N by M. That is the 0, plus, zero element. 0 plus m is the 0 element in N by M. And additive inverse of any element x plus m, the additive inverse of the element x plus m is given by minus x plus m. Because you observe that capital N is a linear space. Capital N is a linear space. Linear space means it is a vector space. Every vector space is an abelian group under addition. Abelian group with respect to addition. So the additive inverse of the element x plus m is given by minus x plus m. And then we go for by given data definition of norm definition of norm so norm x plus m is equals to infimum of norm x plus m such that small m belongs to capital m so x plus m is a left to coset observe that it is a left to coset in n by m since norm is always non negative so norm x plus m is also greater than or equals to 0 by definition of norm x plus m it is defined by infimum and norm is positive norm is always positive and it is defined by infimum it means this set is always bounded below this set is always bounded below you see here this infimum set is always bounded below if it is bounded below and already we say that it is positive so norm of x plus m is always greater than or equals to zero further suppose that norm x plus m is equals to zero if norm x plus m is equals to zero then we observe that infimum of norm x plus m such that m belongs to capital M is also equivalent to 0. This condition from definition, by the definition of norm in this theorem, in the present theorem, norm is defined by infimum of norm x plus m. So, this term is equivalent to 0 means infimum is also 0. If the infimum of this set is equivalent to 0, there must be a sequence mk which defined over capital M, capital M such that norm x plus mk converges to 0 as k tends to infinity. It means norm x plus mk tends to 0 means that mk converges to minus x. mk converges to minus x means that minus x belongs to capital M. Minus x belongs to capital M means x belongs to capital M. Because M is a linear subspace. Capital M is a linear subspace. So every linear space is a vector space. And every vector space is an abelian group under addition. So whenever x belongs to capital M, minus x also belongs to capital M. If minus x belongs to capital M, then x also belongs to capital M. So if here x belongs to capital M implies as x plus M is equals to M. This shows us norm x plus M greater than or equals to 0. And norm x plus M is equals to 0 implies and implied by x plus M is equals to M. Hence, this first condition shows that this satisfies the first property of the normed 
normed linear space. This is the first property of normed linear space. Let us take two elements. X plus M and Y plus M belongs to N by M. Now, norm X plus M plus Y plus M is equals to infimum of X plus M plus norm Y plus M. So, you can split this or addition of cosets. By using the addition of cosets, you can write like this. X plus M plus Y plus M. This simply written as X plus Y plus M. This is the addition of cosets. So, infimum of X plus Y plus M. So, infimum of norm X plus Y plus M1 plus M2. So, this can be split again. Norm X plus M1 plus X plus M2. Whenever we split the norm, if you split the norm, if you divide the above set into two sets, then this equality becomes inequality less than or equals to infimum of norm X plus M1 plus infimum of norm Y plus M2. This is nothing but norm X plus M plus norm Y plus M. Hence, norm X plus M plus Y plus M is less than or equals to norm X plus M plus norm Y plus M. This is the second property of the normed linear space. We go for third one. Norm, norm alpha into X plus M. Right. Norm alpha into X plus M is equals to infimum of norm alpha into X plus M. This can be written as infimum of mod alpha into norm X plus M. We know the property mod or norm small a into alpha or small a into norm small a into x is equals to mod a into norm x mod a into norm x by using that condition here it can be written as here it can be written as mod alpha into here mod alpha into norm x plus m right now norm mod alpha is a constant so right outside the set mod alpha into infimum of norm x plus m this is nothing but mod alpha into norm x plus m hence this this proves the third condition norm of norm of alpha into x plus m is equals to mod alpha into norm x plus m this shows us from the conditions 1 2 3 here you observe that this is condition number 1 condition number 1 and this is condition number 2 and this is condition number 3 from conditions 1, 2, 3, we conclude that N by M is a normed linear space. This is the second part of the theorem. In the third part, we prove that N by M is a Banach space. This quotient space is a Banach space by assuming by assuming N is a Banach space. So, assume that capital N is a Banach space. Banach space means a complete normed linear space. We prove that, we prove that N by M is also a Banach space. N by M is also a Banach space. For this, to prove this, we start with a Cauchy sequence. We start with a Cauchy sequence in the quotient group or in the quotient space N by M. And we have to show that it has a convergent sequence. We take a Cauchy sequence in N by M and we show that it has a convergent subsequence in N by M. We know that. If a Cauchy sequence has a convergent subsequence, then obviously a Cauchy sequence has a convergent subsequence means that Cauchy sequence is always convergent. So, right. Now, we find a sequence Xn plus capital M of original Cauchy sequence such that we are going to define a Cauchy sequence Xn plus M. Xn plus M. Xn plus M. Such that it satisfies the condition norm x1 plus m minus x2 plus m is less than 1 by 2. Observe this this condition. Norm x1 plus m minus x2 plus m is less than 1 by 2. Next one. Norm x2 plus m minus x3 plus m is less than 1 by 2 square. Next one. Norm x3 plus m minus x4 plus m is less than 1 by 2 power m. In general, in general, norm xn plus m minus xn plus m xn plus 1 plus m is less than 1 by 2 power n right we prove that this sequence is convergent in n by m now we define a sequence with for satisfying all these conditions now we show that this sequence is convergent in the quotient space n by m so let us begin by choosing vectors y1 y2 y3 and so on 
according to x1 plus m and x2 plus m and so on choose y1 in x1 plus m and y2 in x2 plus m satisfying the condition norm y1 minus y2 is less than 1 by 2 choose y3 in x3 plus m we are choosing observe that y1 in x1 plus m y2 in x2 plus m y3 in x3 plus m satisfying the condition mod norm y2 minus y3 less than 1 by 2 square by continuing this process we get a sequence yn satisfying the condition norm yn minus yn plus 1 is less than 1 by 2 power n so assume that that m is less than n and now norm ym minus ym is equals to we add some terms and subtract the terms ym minus ym plus 1 plus ym plus 1 minus ym plus 2 plus ym plus 2 and so on so by splitting the terms which is less than or equals to we know that norm x plus y is less than or equals to norm x plus norm y so let us split the terms norm ym minus ym minus ym plus 1 norm ym plus 1 minus ym plus 2 plus norm ym plus 2 minus ym plus 3 and so on norm ym minus 1 minus ym so already we give some properties norm y1 minus y2 is less than 1 by 2 norm y2 minus y3 is less than 1 by 2 square by giving that properties by giving the same properties here norm ym minus ym plus 1 is less than 1 by 2 power m the second term norm ym plus 1 minus ym plus 2 is less than ym 1 by 2 power m plus 1 and the third term gives 1 by 2 power m plus 2 and so on obviously this series is a geometric progression by applying the geometric progression convergent formula 1 by 2 power m minus 1 a by 1 minus r a by 1 minus r so 1 by 2 power m minus 1 so obviously you get norm ym minus yn is less than or equals to 1 by 2 power m minus 1 from this inequality we conclude that yn is a Cauchy sequence yn is a Cauchy sequence from this inequality so norm ym minus yn is less than 1 by 2 power m minus 1 from this conclusion we conclude that from this inequality from this inequality we conclude that from this inequality we conclude that yn is a Cauchy sequence yn is a Cauchy sequence in capital n yn is a Cauchy sequence in capital n and n is a banach space every banach space is complete complete means every Cauchy sequence in it is convergent what is mean by complete every Cauchy sequence in it is convergent yn is a Cauchy sequence in n therefore yn converges to y for some vector y in n so right finally we show that xn plus m is converges to y plus m so take this uh, norm norm yn plus xn plus m norm xn plus m minus y plus m is equals to by subtraction of cosets norm xn minus y plus m so which is less than or equals to infimum of norm xn minus y plus m which is less than or equals to norm xn minus y plus m so by our definition yn is equals to xn plus m and since yn converges to y yn converges to y so the sequence xn plus m is also converges to y so applying the same here norm xn plus m minus yn plus m converges to zero it means xn plus m converges to yn plus m it means every Cauchy sequence in xn plus m every Cauchy sequence xn plus m in n by m is convergent it means n by m is complete it means n by m is a normal linear space and complete it means n by m is banach space that is the definition of banach space banach space is a complete normal linear space so in this theorem we prove all the three parts in the introduction we learn about the statement and in the second part we prove that n by m is a normal linear space and in the third part we prove that n by m is a banach space by assuming n is a banach space in the next video we learn another theorem keep learning